welcome back. I have a bonus video for you this week. Normally I only upload videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but Monday was such a crazy day that I thought I would do a bonus video this week. Plus my Ipsy bag came in the mail. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I am the managing editor of my local town newspaper and it's kind of um, a really small operation. It's me and a sales person who sells all of our ads and then we have um, a clerical person. So basically I am the editor, the reporter, the photographer, I do it all. And today in our little town of almost 9,000 people, the U.S. Marshals were here to arrest a murder suspect. So it was just a really crazy day. So I thought today would be a good day to sit down and do some filming. Why not, right? So I got my um, Ipsy bag in the mail today. It feels like it came really late this month. I already got my boxy charm last week and I uploaded that video for the unboxing and I usually have my Ipsy before I have my boxy charm and this time it was almost a week after. So anyway, um the first thing that is in my bag is something that I bought with Ipsy points. I will have a link for Ipsy down below if you want to check out the subscription and if you use my link then it does give me points that I can spend on products like this and if you don't want to use my link it's just ipsy.com. Um, I should tell you that it is a $10 a month subscription and it usually comes with sample and deluxe sample size products. So this is an item that I purchased with Ipsy points. It is um, EM or M I'm not sure how we're saying that by Michelle Fawn. And this is a lip color mixing palette. I've never purchased a lip palette before and I haven't tried anything from this brand so I thought it would be a good thing to spend my points on. The packaging is super cute. I've heard um, up and down things about this palette. I kind of have already swatched this because I filmed this video once and uh, weird things happened. Anyway, these are all like very uh, creamy, glossy products. And they feel kind of very like thick glosses. I'll just kind of show you another one here. And some of them are much more glossy than others. Um, but it looks to be very pretty and I'm excited to try Grab my towel down here. Excited to try something that is really different from things that I have tried before. Um, it does have, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six different colors in here, with of course this being the biggest one, and then there's a little mixing pot there. There was a brush that was in here, um, but it fell out last time I was using it, and I don't know what I did with it, but I wouldn't have used it anyway. It was just kind of a really small, um, not very good quality lip brush, but I'm really excited to try this particular palette. So that is one benefit of being an Ipsy subscriber is that you do get points um, for referring people. You get points every month when you review items. You don't have to refer people to get points, but then you can spend it on fun stuff. All right, so on to this month's actual bag. The theme is Spring Fling, which I or Hello Spring. Why did I read that as spring fling? Hello spring, which is, I think, perfect for March. And the bag really fits with that theme. It's kind of this coral um, color with all of these roses on it. Now, Ipsy does not include product information on the back. So what I usually do is I will have a blog post link down below and I look up all of these products and I get the full size price and figure out how much the sample is worth. So I can give you a, a pretty good estimate of how much this bag is actually worth. Most of the time I find that they're double to triple of the value that you pay for it. The first thing that I see is a lip lacquer by Model Co. I've had some things by Model Co before and I really liked them. Uh, looks like this is maybe in the color Socialite. Yes. Oh, and it's kind of orange. So I don't know if that is something that I would really it's actually kind of the same color as the bag so I guess that's very fitting I'll just have to try it on and see I have been trying to branch out into warmer colors um, this season and because I do have a neutral undertone to my skin so I can wear both cool and warm colors I tend to wear all cool colors so I'm trying to branch out so that might be good for me to have 
The next thing I see is an Aphrodite olive oil eye cream. It's for all skin types, anti-aging and hydrating. Firms and to tones with argon and Inca Inchi oils, coenzyme Q10. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty good sample size, 0.34 fluid ounces. Let's see what it smells like. Kind of smells like a a sweet olive oil. I'm very picky with smells when it comes to eye creams. If something has too much of a scent to it, I really don't want to put it near my eyes. But I will give that one a try because it doesn't smell too strong. Okay, I am excited about this. Uh, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, it is supposed to be full coverage, waterproof, anti-aging. It's not supposed to crease or crack. I have heard People just rave and rave about this product. It's, I don't know, I would say that the sample size is a little small, but from what I've heard, you just need the tiniest little bit of this, so this would probably go a long way. I did get it in the color neutral medium, so that should match my skin tone. Good on Ipsy for that, so I am very excited to try that. The next thing that I see is a, an eyeshadow brush, and this is by Beau... Go cheese. It's kind of hard to read because it's in cursive and it's very small. Um, but it is a nice eyeshadow brush. It's very, very soft. This is the type of eyeshadow brush that I would use to like pack shadow all over my lid. Um, it's it's very soft, but it's very dense. It has a nice taper to it. it. Has a very nice feel. Very lightweight. So I'm excited about that. You can always use more makeup brushes, right? And then the last thing in here is an Afra eyeliner. And it doesn't say anything except for that it is an eyeliner in green go. So mm, not so sure about that. So yeah, that is kind of a metallic-y green. Probably great for spring, but I don't really wear greens all that much. So I'll just have to give it a try and see what I think. <laughs> so that is Ipsy's bag for the month. Don't forget to check out the blog post if you'd like more information about what this bag was actually worth. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the next month as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.